Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great week. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is Wednesday, April the 13th, 2016. Thought you'd like to know that today is also known as Scrabble Day. All right. Before we review today's events, let's quickly recap our analysis from the past few days and discuss specifically what happened yesterday. Through our analysis, we concluded that nearly every tectonic plate had shifted within the past seven days. The Pacific, the Indian, the Arabian, Caribbean, South American, North American, Eurasian, Philippine, and Australian plates were and are being moved. The events that took place yesterday and today confirm this, and it confirms that the movement continues. Let's break it down. In total, we clocked in 255 earthquakes yesterday. That's about normal these days. What is unusual is a sheer amount of magnitude 4 and 5 earthquakes. Not only that, but we experienced unusual movement nearly all around the globe. On average, we clock in around 3 magnitude 5 earthquakes per day. Yesterday, we experienced 11. Also, on average, we can expect to experience roughly 9 magnitude 4 earthquakes per day. Yesterday, we registered 16. The usual locations were struck with a few exceptions. Micronesia was hit with the strongest earthquake for the day. This was a 5.4. Madimba, Tanzania registered a 5.2. And Makuri Islands, just off the coast of Australia, clocked in a 5.1. Finally, just off the coast of South Africa, we experienced a 5.1 as well. Our pals in Nepal experienced movement. This was a 4.3. If we look at the states, we'll see that the numbers fell within normal conditions with the exception of a few locations. For example, California clocked in 113 for the day. However, Mammoth Lakes experienced 25 earthquakes, and the geysers clocked in 20. That's a noteworthy increase of 65% in the Mammoth Lakes area and a 55% increase in and around the geysers when compared to the previous day. Utah, of all locations, experienced a drastic increase in earthquake activity as well. They clocked in 13, 85% of which struck Pangooch. The strongest to strike the state was a 2.4. Clifton, Arizona, registered a noteworthy 3.0. We also experienced a 2.1 that struck Charleston, Missouri. This fell right along the New Madrid seismic zone. And speaking of which, this fault has experienced ample movement recently. Interesting. If we head further east, we'll see that Tennessee experienced movement as well, a 2.5 that struck Benton. We not only experienced movement along the Craton in Tennessee, but in New York as well yesterday. So, what we are seeing is the Pacific Plate pushing east. That's why we are experiencing more earthquakes along the western and eastern limbs of the North American Craton, moving beyond to areas like Arizona and Utah, and the new Madrid seismic zone continues to move as well. Not only that, but we have seen areas like the Central East Pacific Rise and Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge experience movement. If we look at today's events, we'll see that as of 7.52 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in 205 earthquakes thus far. The strongest earthquake to strike today was a 7.1, which was later revised to a 6.9. This struck Burma, care of the Indian Plate, as it subducts beneath Eurasia. Fortunately, zero fatalities, injuries, and damage have been reported, with the exception of a few broken televisions here and there. This, like the 6.9 Afghanistan earthquake experienced earlier in the week, was felt over a great distance. In fact, Tibet, which is nearly 612 miles from Burma, was shaken. Outside of this, the normal areas experienced movement with the exception of a few locations. The New Madrid seismic zone continued to experience activity with a 1.9 in Steele, Missouri and a 1.6 in Ridgely, Tennessee. Also, along the east coast, care of the Craton, we experienced a 2.2 in Tryon, Georgia and a 2.4 in Newport, Tennessee. If we head west, we'll see that Oklahoma clocked in 2 thus far, a 2.5 in Crescent, and a 3.2 in Blackwell. The earthquake swarm in Utah has diminished. Only one has struck the state so far, this being a 3.3 in Enterprise. Hawaii has been strangely quiet, only one experience today. This was a 2.2 that struck Pahala. Iowaki, Japan, experienced a 4.6. Micronesia and Guam clocked in a 4.7 and a 4.6 as well. New Zealand was hit with a 4.1. And the Solomon Islands registered a 4.6. Finally, if we look at South America, we'll see that Chile has gone completely quiet. 
We did experience two noteworthy earthquakes to strike the continent, though. A 5.3 struck Bolivia earlier today, as well as a 4.2 that hit Argentina. Outside of this, the earthquake numbers and everything fell within the norm. But after today's powerful earthquake, it will be interesting to see whether the release and pressure will usher in a period of less intense earthquakes. The one thing that is clear though, is that the earth is evolving, and these are indeed interesting times. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would like to chat, please post below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys.